Hello, my name is Gil, and this is a quick little tutorial video on switching out the courtesy lights on a 76 Cardinal RG. So I have a 76 Cardinal behind me here, and it has the factory bulbs for illuminating courtesy. This is just to show you what the factory bulb looks like. So I'm gonna just to do a light test with that. I'm gonna measure it from the same spot on the floor, and uh, we'll compare. All right, so there you can see the factory GE bulb, and here's the new Aerolites LED that I'm gonna put in. It's pretty straightforward, just push, give it a turn. It's still warm from last time, that's how much heat incandescent bulbs go. So the wattage draw is considerably less with LED. But this is one of the easiest installs, and while I have it apart, I'm gonna clean this glass a little bit here too. Just already took it out. It's just a few little screws to get it to the panel. And what I have in here are these Aerolite LEDs, and they're very inexpensive. And they make a couple different versions, some that are red, some that are white, but some have a little bit higher brightness but are not dimmable, and some that are dimmable but not as bright. So what I did is I bought the non-dimmable versions for the courtesy lights, and I'm actually gonna compare the light output from this guy to the factory one, and I actually have a light meter, and we'll be able to compare. Here's what the uh, lens looks like. It just looks like, I think it's actual glass, but I'm just cleaning it out and get the dust off. The new little arrow LEDs in there, as you can see. It's one of the easiest installs around. It takes two minutes, just worth the upgrade, guys. Do it. Okay, so I have all the hanger lights off. And as you can see, this is what it looks like with the arrow lights LED. Let's go over to the other side and compare with the incandescent 12 volt bulb so pretty decent i should say on both uh, but as you can see here the color temperature is definitely a whiter light but let's put the proof in the pudding so if i put the light meter right at the light source here getting 80 foot candles but what's important is at the floor so what this measures is how many lumens per square foot we're getting and as you can see here, 1.4 lumens per square foot, which is not tons, but that's plenty to light up the area. Let's compare. Score to beat, 1.4 foot candles. Let's go right in front of the tire. 0.3. So not even the equivalent of a candle per square foot. This uh, foot candles reading, by the way, is how many lumens per square foot. So it's 0.3. And if we're right at the lens here, like about where I had it, 14. So if I go right against it, that's about as bright as we can get the output. 1,100 foot candles. Let's compare right against it. 2,300. There you go, folks. At least twice as bright. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to uh, replace the pedestal mount down on the floor. 